Welcome everyone. We're going to show you how to install Tailwind CSS and ShadCN in your payload admin. Uh, in 3.0, we're running on Next.js. So the instructions are quite similar, but there's a couple of things that you're going to need to do differently. Um, here I have a very standard Next.js installation. Um, if you just use the Next, the Create Payload App function uh, in your CLI, then um, you'll get something like this, basically, with Payload Bootstrap. And I just went ahead and created my front end. So it's just a standard layout with a single page and just a, an H1. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install my dependencies. They should already be installed for me, but you need to install Tailwind, PostGSS, and AutoPrefixer for your dev dependencies. Um, again, it's going to be mostly standard to what the official instructions are. Uh, so you can go ahead and initialize Tailwind. I'm using PMPM, but you can use um, any package manager you want for this. Um, so it gave us the Tailwind config for us. So we're going to make sure that it's looking in the components. Um, we need to update the component here to just say, look in every .jsx file. Um, you can replace this with JSX if you're not using TypeScript. Um, but we are. Um, and now we need to make sure that in our globals.css, we have the Tailwind directives imported. Um, this brings in all the Tailwind configuration in your style sheet. Um, and then you need to also make sure that you're actually importing this um, CSS style. So if we go back to our homepage, we can see that this is taking shape. So text red um, should change the color of our text if the server was running, which it will do now. I'm just going to recompile the admin panel as well. Yeah, you can see as I was updating, and from now on, it should just uh, work in real time uh, as it does not. Why? Maybe it's because it's combining. It's probably not. Yes, so it was waiting for the admin panel, but yeah. Okay. Um, you can remove that now. Uh, but the actual thing we want to do here is actually use it in our admin panel instead. So I've got a post collection, um, and I'm going to give it a custom UI field. This is for, we're going to create an alert box. So it's a standard field. Um, a UI field in payload is just a field that does not store any data itself. So you can use it to create any kind of component that you want. My uh, compiler is complaining right now because we haven't created the alert box component. So let's go ahead and do that. Alert box. It looks like it knows to generate the correct thing. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to remove the props because we don't need it. Um, but I'm going to say this is my alert. So let's go to create a post. And you can see we have a div. Um, but if we do try to use border yellow, border to or the solid. Um, our um, ID thinks that we have access to Tailwind in this component, but in our ad admin panel, we don't. And that's because of the root grouping that we have here. So what we actually need to do as well is copy over these directives into our um, custom.scss. And we need to actually remove the base one, because the base one contains style overrides and resets. Um, that may interfere with the admin panel. But what we're really after is just the components and the utilities. So just adding that should now allow you to use Tailwind in your admin panel. And that's basically all you have to do. Oh.
it doesn't matter. So now, if you want to go ahead and add chance here, and let me refer to my notes here. Uh, chat is a bit more complex to set up so that's why um right okay so chat uses tailwind which is why we need tailwind set up as a precursor um but actually it's a bit more complex than just tailwind um one thing to note as well is that if you've been making changes to your tailwind configuration chat will overwrite it uh, so you need to make sure that you are Okay, where is our global file? So here we need to actually make sure we're putting it to SRC app front end globals.css. Yeah, so it's installing a whole bunch of utilities, components. Um, it's doing a lot for us out of the box. So you can see our Tailwind configuration got overridden by ChatCN. And this is the critical point to note that if you've been making changes, um, they will be lost at this step. So you need to make sure you save that before you install ChatCN. Our page is still working fine. Our admin panel is still working fine. Um, let's check out. So one thing that did happen in our globals is that ChatCN injected a whole lot of styles um, for its components. And we will need to copy this over to the admin panel. I'll show you how in just a second. We can skip this one, um, but we can just copy what's inside the base layer. We don't need to copy the actual layer base because we're not using that. And the at layer directive comes from Tailwind as well. So below this, we need to do, just do that. Um, one thing we do need to do here is change the dot dot dark selector to a data theme equals star. And that's because in the uh, admin panel, if I show you right now, in the admin panel, we're not using a class, we're using a data theme instead, which is going to come into the, actually the next change we need to make in our Tailwind configuration. So dark mode, let's say it's a selector. And then we need to provide it um, dot dark, as well as our CSS selectors for the admin panel. Dark. And this lets us use dark mode for the front end, which may use a different selector entirely, so you can customize this to whatever you need. And for the admin panel, we choose this data theme instead. Um, but yeah, let's install a component. Let's see what we need to do next. I think we can just, yeah, let's add an alert box. Uh -uh -uh. So PMPM, DLX. And this is going to install its own component. So ShadCN is not a traditional component library where you're reusing or importing whatever they give you. You do install these components into your um, project, and they come as is. So this is what um, ShadCN gave us. I'm just going to copy the example code to reuse it. So if you go back to our custom alert box, we can remove what we have so far. We need to actually import the uh, dependencies. There we go. So now you can see we're actually using um, the Shadcian components right here. And it should respect wait, let me, compilation. Um, it should respect light mode and dark mode. It's going to respect light mode and dark mode in your admin panel. Um, you might need to make some changes to your styles to make sure that they don't conflict with your admin panel, obviously. But um, that's basically the gist of it. And you can use this to combine your custom components with anything. So Delwin um, and ChatCN have a few components that you can reuse. 
So here um, we would actually have access to payload hooks. So if you wanted to update data, use custom uh, tables, custom inputs, this is how you would do it. Um, we also have a written tutorial with these steps written out and an example repo. So if you just want to get started or have a complete reference of this code, um, it's going to be in the description.